I spent so much time coding, thinking I was doing it right. I wasn't. I was just writing code, no strategy, no understanding of why things worked. Then I started learning concepts that actually mattered, not algorithms, not design patterns, actual principles that fundamentally changed how I think about building systems. So here are 10 concepts that changed my life. First, composition over inheritance. I spent years thinking object-oriented programming, or OOP, meant building giant class hierarchies, animal to mammal to dog to poodle. It's a nightmare. Then I realized I could just combine smaller pieces instead. A dog is just a collection of behaviors. Bark, run, fetch. You can mix and match them however you need. That shift alone made my code way more flexible and actually maintainable. Second, Yagni. You aren't gonna need it. I used to build everything future-proof. Extra layers, plug-in systems, modular architecture for projects that never needed it. I wasted weeks on infrastructure that nobody ever touched. The lesson? Solve today's problem. Add complexity only when it's actually necessary. Your future self will thank you. Third, the principle of least privilege. Don't give your functions access to everything. Don't expose all your data. Restrict access to what's absolutely necessary. It sounds simple, but it completely changed how I structure code. Fewer Red Bulls needed. Fewer bugs. Fewer headaches at 3 a.m. Fourth, making illegal states unrepresentable. This one blew my mind. Instead of writing validation code everywhere, design your data so invalid states literally can't exist. If something can't be null, don't let it be null. If a user can't be both active and deleted, make those mutually exclusive in your type system. Your code becomes way safer without defensive checks everywhere. Fifth, code for humans first. I used to think code was instructions for computers, but I forgot that computers don't care if your variable is x or user final v 3.3. Humans do. I started writing code like I was explaining it to someone who'd never seen it before. Suddenly bugs got easier to spot, onboarding new team members got easier, and life became beautiful. Sixth, embracing immutability where it matters. I was terrified to use immutable data structures because I thought they'd be slow. Turns out I was wrong and also overthinking it. Immutable data means fewer surprises, fewer bugs from accidental mutations, and way easier debugging. You know exactly what changed and when. It's beautiful. Seventh, thinking in pipelines. Instead of writing one giant function, I started thinking in data transformations. Input to transform, to output to transform, to output. Each step does one thing. Each step is testable. Each step is composable. Suddenly, complex logic became readable. Eighth, understanding the cost of abstraction. Abstractions are amazing until they leak. You use a framework thinking it hides complexity, then suddenly you're debugging something that makes zero sense because you don't understand what's happening under the hood. Now I ask, what's the cost of this abstraction? Am I gaining clarity or just hiding complexity? Ninth, accepting that refactoring is not optional. I used to think refactoring was something you did when you had time. It's not. Refactoring is maintenance. It's how you keep code healthy. If you're not refactoring, your code base is slowly dying. I started treating it like brushing my teeth. I just do it. And 10th, the most important one, your code will change. Stop trying to predict the future. Stop building for a future alien apocalypse. Build for now. Make it easy to change later. Good code isn't code that's perfect today. It's code that's easy to modify tomorrow because tomorrow requirements will change. Users will want something different and you'll need to adapt fast. Here's what I realized about all of these concepts. They're not revolutionary. They're not new. But I spent years not knowing them because I was too focused on syntax and algorithms and trying to look smart. It's like this quote, it's not easy, but it's simple. Your future self will thank you and that's worth everything. Speaking of building real skills, if you're working on side projects, you need authentication. Building auth from scratch is a massive time sink. That's where Clerk comes in. Production ready auth in minutes. Google sign in, email verification, all the stuff that normally takes weeks. But Clerk isn't just auth. They handle organizations for multi-tenant apps, invitations, role-based access, the whole setup. And if you're building a B2B SaaS, Clerk billing integrates with Stripe. Subscription tiers, free trials, feature gating, all in a few lines of code. I've used it in multiple projects and it just works. No fighting OAuth flows, no security vulnerabilities you missed. If you want to ship projects instead of building infrastructure for months, check out Clerk. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.